Live from Liberty Hall at the University of Dayton, you're listening to Proclaimer Cast. Come to us, O Word of God, dwell in our hearts, open our minds. Come to us, O Word of God, for you are the way, the truth, and time. Welcome to episode one of Proclaimer Cast. My name is Emily Strand, and I'm your host. I'm also the Director of Liturgy at the University of Dayton. Before we continue with Episode 1, let's pause for prayer. Alternative Opening Prayer for the Feast of Christmas. Let us pray. God of love, Father of all, the darkness that covered the earth has given way to the bright dawn of your word made flesh. Make us a people of this light. Make us faithful to your word, that we may bring your life to the waiting world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's entirely possible that some of you are asking yourself, why am I listening to Emily Strand on a podcast talking about being a lector for Mass? Well, that's a good question. Why podcasting? Why choose this format for forming lectors? in our church. Um, So I have a few reasons. Um, The first one I'll put out is because the Holy Father suggested it. I know this may sound strange, but actually the Vatican has encouraged us to embrace new media for the building up of the church today, and podcasting is a form of new media. Pope Benedict XVI actually promulgated a special message about new media for World Communications Day on January 24th, 2009. In his message, the Holy Father referred to the, quote, extraordinary potential of new media, if, he says, they are used to promote human understanding and solidarity. He emphasized the interactive nature of new media, and he said that it, quote, facilitates more dynamic forms of learning and communication, thereby contributing to social progress. So that sounds like a pretty rousing endorsement to me. So to our minds in campus ministry, lecture formation seems like an appropriate place to employ new media because lecturing at mass necessarily relies on oral oral skills and those are the same skills that you use and develop when you listen to like a radio broadcast or a a podcast so oral oral skills are integral to good proclamation of the word so we figured we would employ those skills in the formation of those lectors who serve our campus and who serve our church So that's the first reason, because the Holy Father suggested it. So the second reason is because it's really a convenient way to get the information out there. Think of it. You can listen to ProclaimerCast on your walk down the hill to class while you get your sweat on at the RecPlex. You can listen to it just about anywhere. You can listen to it while you're doing something else. You're folding your laundry or you're cleaning your room. I don't know if you clean your room, but if if you do, you can listen to ProclaimerCast while you do it. So hopefully it'll be a convenient way uh, to get the information out there instead of, you know, asking you to show up on a particular night or a particular afternoon to hear somebody speak. The third reason that we want to try podcasting as the format for lecture training is because it's something new and we want to try something new. We think that it would be a great value to try something new. We hear in the prophet Isaiah, The Lord speaks to us and says, Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago, consider not. See, I am doing something new. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? So we want to try something new with ProclaimerCast. So let's talk about what you can expect from ProclaimerCast. First of all, I want to keep these episodes short, under 20 minutes each. Those who know me are snickering right now, but that's my goal anyway. Uh, Secondly, uh, you can expect interesting and helpful information that can be directly applied to your ministry as a proclaimer of the Word of God. We want to keep it practical here on ProclaimerCast. Third, you can expect some homework. All right, all right, all right. Don't panic. 
The homework that we'll give here on ProclaimerCast is going to be things like time for reflection on your ministry or your relationship with God and your membership in the body of Christ in the church. So you can expect to have a little bit of homework, but it's probably the kind of homework that you'll want to do. I also want to mention that while this podcast is being created for specifically for the worshiping community at the University of Dayton, which is a large Catholic and Marianist institution in Dayton, Ohio, it could certainly be used by any uh, worshiping community which values effective proclamation in worship. That's our goal here at ProclaimerCast, effective proclamation in worship. So this episode is mostly just to orient you to the podcast and to introduce you to the podcast, but I do want to close with just a few thoughts on the Word of God. I once heard the results of a study on what it is people fear most in life. Do you know what were first and second on the list? Death and public speaking. Okay, death and public speaking. So death, yeah, duh, right? Public speaking? Are you kidding? Our human minds find so much to fear in getting up in front of our peers to proclaim God's word. And it is pretty daunting. But at the same time, there's an irony here. And remember, irony means something that's unexpected. St. Paul says to the Hebrews, Indeed, the word of God is living and effective sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. So here's the irony, in case you didn't catch it. It seems like it's not public speaking we should fear, but public listening especially if we're listening to this word with its piercing, penetrating power. But we who believe know that there is nothing to fear from fearing the Lord. For though his word pierces our hearts, he does so to replace our human notions and limitations with his own. We hear again from the prophet Isaiah, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. Even still, I want to emphasize that your listening to this podcast is an act of courage in the faith, which shows that the word of God has indeed been effective in your life, drawing you to become a proclaimer of the word. It's small acts like this that propel the Christian tradition throughout history. Time for your homework assignment. Consider these questions. How is God's word living and effective in your life? How has it been in the past? And how is it living and effective today? Spend some time in prayer with Psalm 19. That's it for this episode of ProclaimerCast. Be sure to subscribe to us on iTunes U, the University of Dayton page. We'd love to hear your feedback or questions. You can email those to emily.strand at notes.udayton.edu. Until next time, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Brought to you by Campus Ministry at the University of Dayton. This podcast has ended. Go in peace.